Hello, everyone. Welcome to Morning Coffee. Thank you so much for tuning in. So this is going to be a general energy reading for your weekend. Yes, weekend edition. So Friday, May 31st through Sunday, June 2nd. Um, so I totally misspoke yesterday. We definitely have one more day left in May, and that's today. <laughs> Oops, I got a little too excited. But it's a, today, this now, this is the officially the end of May. We're moving into June, six months into the year, guys. Year's halfway over, just about. We just gotta get through today. Whoa, where is the time going, you guys? All right, so this is going to be your general energy reading for the weekend, yes? So Friday, May 31st through Sunday, May 2nd, I'm sorry, Sunday, June 2nd. Um, please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is a general reading. If you'd like a look into your own personal situation, please go ahead and email me. All the information is in the description box below, yeah? Um, Keep in mind that energies are fluid, time is an illusion, so just because it's coming through today, it's the message that's coming through today, it doesn't have to resonate today, although it very well, well might, but then again, whenever you come across this video or this reading and it resonates for you, then that is the message for you in that moment, yeah? So I wanna get into this. There was a little bit of a pre-shuffle here. Um, and some cards fell out. Uh, it was the Queen of Wands with the Nine of Wands, the Two of Swords, and hold on, hold on, wait. Nine of Wands, Two of Swords, Queen of Wands. Oh, goodness, there was one more card, and now I don't remember what it was. Um, oh, right, the Lovers. <laughs> <laughs> and then underneath the deck was the Queen of Cups. So there is some sort of energy on the feminine side here in which um, someone may be cycling back into some sort of um, connection. Um, Okay, the thing about it is that there's the Two of Swords. So it was the Queen of Wands, which to me is a very fiery, passionate, confident energy. It could also be a depiction of the Divine Feminine um, in terms of like Twin Flames. And, um, but of course it doesn't have to be. But then on top of that, we did have the Lovers. So that's the other part of the equation that's kind of giving me like potentially a Twin Flamish vibe or a... Um, like a divine partnership or just like a, a divine union vibe um, coupled with the queen of wands. But there was the nine of wands on top of that with the two of swords. So, I mean, especially if you're dealing with a twin flame journey, um, you know, the shit ain't easy and you, you know, there's this whole level of perseverance that needs to be kept up which in which the nine of wands represents. Um, or of, I should say, of which the nine of wands represents. I realized I didn't turn my light on. Um, I have no lights on in my room, actually. It's so damn bright, and I love it because, you know, the sun's out. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Underneath, uh, uh, underneath the deck is the Queen of Cups, or was the Queen of Cups. So there's some sort of emotional... I'm hearing there's emotional responsibility that may be taken. You may be moving back into the feelings of the connection. You may be moving back into the emotions of the connection, but the thing about it is it feels a little bit different now because it's not like you're sinking back in to like the runner chaser phase if you are like a twin flame situation. The obsessiveness, the the overexertion, maybe the overgiving. No, you've definitely come out of the situation different. The Queen of Wands is saying that you're a completely different person now. And it's because of the different person that you have become or that you've grown into that you still kind of have that two of swords energy there, which is kind of like an indecisive energy. Like, no, 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 I don't really want to be doing this. I don't think this is right. This doesn't, this is, this is bad. I shouldn't be going down this. I, I, I shouldn't be doing this, blah, blah, blah. But then at the same time, you know that it's kind of like, well, it's not this, it doesn't have to, continue the way it did last time or the way it did in the past so things are changing something's changing for someone um in regards to a romantic partnership um, a twin flame partnership a um only even maybe even your inner sense of of union within you know what i mean like that kind of situation 
Um, yeah, we'll, we'll see what else comes out. We may, it may be something completely different that comes out here, but I wanted to share that. It did come out. Spirit was pushing me to say, hey, just share it with them because it's going to resonate with someone. Okay. Um, in terms of that, any advice that I would have, because there is some advice coming through for that, uh, just take it slow. You know, honor yourself, honor your feelings, honor your emotions, but also honor the connection because the connection is real. You know it's real. All right? Um, even if the physical doesn't match the energy, the energetic feeling, trust your intuition. I mean, the Queen of Cups knows. The Queen of Cups is a, is an, is a psychic individual. She's intuitive and all that. So the Queen of Cups knows. So follow your intuition. Follow your heart. Follow the guidance that's given. Yes? Okay, guys. Let's get into this for your weekend. Hi, Spirit. Please make me a clear channel for the collective at this time. Please bring forward the best messages to serve the highest good of all involved for our weekend of Friday, May 31st through Sunday, June 2nd. Thank you so much, Spirit. All right, guys, I'm going to give this three shuffles, but um, immediately, immediately, as I asked for the clarity or just the, um, you know, the messages, I saw yellow, all right? So the biggest thing that I'm getting from the color yellow is illumination, understanding, clarity, seeing clearer than you may have before. And this could absolutely be um, connected to whatever's whatever was coming through with the feminine energy with the Queen of Wands and the Queen of Cups. Now, keep in mind, guys, we're talking energy, not gender, okay? So, okay, whatever. But um, clarity, exuberance, excitement, um, I'm hearing really thinking straight about a certain situation, seeing something really clearly. Also, um, gaining the clarity to move forward on your path. It's almost as if there's some sort of validation that's coming through or um, a, a, a deeper or a new understanding that's allowing you, it's basically like allowing the clouds to part. Um, and the sun to come out, the sun to be clearly shining and illuminating everything around you. Okay, and it really just may be that um, the sun may have always been shining, but maybe you're just seeing things differently now. It's entirely possible. It's kind of, actually, to be honest, that's kind of what it feels like. It's just that you're seeing things differently. All right, let's see what we've got for your weekend. Mm -hmm. Temperance, Ace of Swords, you see? I told you, someone is seeing something very differently, much clearer. Um, okay, there's, some, there's a certain understanding. Ah, you see, you see, underneath the deck you have divine wisdom. So it's almost as if someone has finally received or, um, I guess you could say received, um, but I think the best term, a better term would be has finally accepted or maybe is finally into, uh, I'm sorry, finally able to integrate the wisdom, the knowledge, the divine wisdom, divine wisdom, the truth, the understanding. There's some sort of aha moment that's leading to a deeper sense of balance, understanding, alchemy. Um, it's almost as if whatever information that you're getting here with the Ace of Swords, whatever the Ace of Swords represents, it, it almost feels as if it's allowing you to be more patient, allowing you to temper a little more. That's really interesting. Temperance was first. 
Um, what else do we have? Ah, the King of Pentacles. Interesting. The Seven of Pentacles is in reverse. Oh, shit. Okay. <laughs> the Two of Swords came back out. Okay. Um, all right. All right, all right, all right. Okay. So, what we have here... Because um, now the masculine energy is coming through, but it does it does seem as if now you could be dealing with an earth sign Taurus Virgo Capricorn specifically a Taurus potentially because that was that's the archetype of the king the fixed element um, fixed energy you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, Yeah, sorry guys, I totally just like blanked for a second. But you could be dealing with a Taurus, you could be dealing with a Sagittarius, maybe another fire sign, could be dealing with an air sign. It really doesn't matter. Another earth sign, doesn't matter. But the understanding that has come through here or that is coming through or maybe is about to come through for you is going to help you either with your own inner masculine energy or is going to help you understand a certain individual that embodies this King of Pentacles energy, this masculine energy, a little better, or maybe a lot more. Um, this could be someone, now this King of Pentacles does kind of feel like it's someone who, at least in the past, was very materially oriented, very focused on finances, career, money, success, um, physical possessions, maybe a status. Um, but there's an understanding surrounding this that is allowing an individual to temper more, to balance out more, to, um, I'm hearing to seek guidance, okay, um, but also to be a little more patient, potentially. Now, now we get back, we get down here. And also, this could be, this even could be, this King of Pentacles energy could be your own inner masculine energy, too. Like, that's entirely possible. This doesn't have to necessarily be a situation or a circumstance with an external individual. This could be your own inner masculine energy. So, you could, the divine wisdom you could have gained could be some sort of insight surrounding um, the damage or rifts between your feminine and masculine energy. Maybe you were, um, there was some sort of, uh, trauma or damage or wounding that happened as a child earlier in life in a past life that created some sort of toxicity I guess we could say when it comes to you know your inner masculinity it could be any of those things okay this is a general reading so please take what resonates now we get down to the second row here you have the Seven of Pentacles in reverse with the Two of Swords and the Four of Wands. So, yes, here's that indecisiveness again. But it's interesting because the Seven of Pentacles in reverse here doesn't necessarily feel bad. It almost feels like you've gone through a process of reaping what you've sown, um, it's like you're past that now. You're past some sort of negative karma. You're past some sort of situation in which you learned. You had to go through the process to seek a deeper understanding and then you learned about it. And so, so you're coming out of that, but there's still a sense of indecisiveness here with this Two of Swords energy um, that might be keeping you from integrating certain parts about the situation. And this could very well have to do with a union, four of wands. And okay, for some of you, you've learned the lessons or you have integrated the information, but you're still indecisive about moving forward or moving to, into this union. For others of you, there is a sense of indecisiveness and this is kind of fear-based. I am feeling like it. This Two of Swords energy does feel a little fear-based. And it's like you're not allowing yourself to reap the harvest here seven of pentacles this this does represent you know having done a lot of hard work yes reaping what you've sown and it's almost as if 
you're too tired of the situation I just heard to let it happen. Because for some reason, I mean, it does kind of feel like you're moving towards a union with the Four of Wands. And we still could be talking about some sort of twin flame situation. And yet, you're battered and bruised and almost don't want to make a decision. It's almost as if you don't want to believe that you will reap, you will reap, actually reap this harvest of a union. Which is weird because it kind of goes against what you're learning or what you're integrating with divine wisdom and at the same time, it doesn't. <laughs> and that's where the indecisiveness comes into play here. Because after everything that you've learned on this journey, Ace of Swords, and the balancing that you've done within temperance, the alchemy, the new, the new person you have become through this situation, it kind of seems foolish to, I guess, in a sense, wait for this. But at the same time, that's, I just heard spirit, or I guess you could God say, but at the same time, that's what I'm asking you to do. Ah, yes. Spirit just said it's you're actually in this case, you're most some of you are um, using this wisdom and knowledge against yourself. It's almost as if you're using it as a way to n not believe. Even though you still do believe Ace of Swords. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's really interesting. Huh. Okay. I'm definitely getting some sort of energy of the seven of pentacles being in reverse because it's almost as if you don't, you don't want to harvest this. Like you don't, you, it's almost as if you would rather not bring this to harvest so that you don't have to deal with the pain associated with it in whatever way that works out, either it not coming through or it not going well, or it actually does come through and you don't know what to deal with that about, do, do about it, or you, you don't want to sabotage it, whatnot, whatever. And this, honestly, this could go from either side. This could be the masculine side and the feminine side. This could be the feminine in regards to the masculine. It could really be anything here, okay? Sorry about that, guys. People are being crazy and honking their horns. All right, let's... um. <laughs> Let's get into some clarification here. Now, my attention was just drawn to the King of Pentacles. So it really could be the masculine who's also gaining some sort of wisdom here. Wow, this really could be from the masculine side because now I'm kind of seeing it that way. It's almost as if the King of Pentacles here representing the masculine energy or the masculine side of the equation could have be having this epiphany. And the seven of pentacles in reverse really could be that person not wanting to harvest any more of what they've sown. And there is an, an indecisiveness in trying to move, working on moving towards some sort of union here. Very interesting. Okay. Uh, let's get into some clarification. Two more shuffles, and then we're going to start at the top of the reading here. And I already feel like the clarification is going to come through for the masculine side of the, of the equation. And then this bottom row here. Ah, yeah, look. 
The Six of Swords is underneath the deck so far. Mental healing, mental clarity, um, leaving the past behind. I even feel a decision, a conscious choice to leave the bullshit of the past situation behind you, completely healing from that. And it really could be both sides of the situation, of the equation that are choosing to do this on their own. I'm not picking up that this is a joint decision. I'm choosing, or I'm choosing <laughs> is what I'm hearing, but I'm picking up that this is a choice, independent. this is an independent choice, okay? Totally independent of each other. This is a choice that an individual is making on their own, regardless of what the other person might be thinking or feeling. Like what I mean, what I'm trying to say is you two are not consulting each other. You're coming to this decision on your own, individually, okay? But let's get some clarity on the top row here, please, spirit. Okay, the tower in reverse. The moon. Okay. And the king of pentacles again. Yeah. Interesting. The tower fell out. It came out in reverse. Um, and it did fall on the two of swords. Wow. So originally, what I picked up on when the tower came out, um, and it, it, at first it came out upright, but then as it fell, I watched it flip upside down and land on the Two of Swords and land reversed. So to me, what that is saying is there is a tower moment from the past that has finally been let go of, is what I just heard. Um, some sort of secret has been revealed. Some sort of darkness has been overcome, surmounted, especially between the Ace of Swords and the, and the Moon. The Moon is a cycle. The Moon is secrets, illusions. The Moon came out sideways. So it seems to me like something is being revealed, about to be revealed, has been revealed, or has been understood has been taken into account, has been accounted for. And you have the King of Pentacles underneath the deck again. So this is definitely from the masculine side, or at least it has to do with the masculine. Maybe this is an understanding about who a masculine counterpart is. Maybe this is an understanding about um, why a certain masculine did certain things, acted a certain way. Um, this could be a greater understanding about your own inner masculine energy. The moon is also kind of speaking to feminine energy here. So it could be a situation in which um, you as a masculine entity or a masculine energy, energy are coming to terms with more of the feminine side of things, the emotional side of things, the cyclical, receptive side of life. And that could have been what that tower moment was for you in which something was destroyed and or, or brought down or illuminated. There was an epiphany, Ace of Swords, and now something is clearer for you, has been cleared up in a way for you. Okay. All right, so now down here, we're talking feminine. That's what it's, the, the, because the, up here, I'm feeling this is mostly masculine energy. Down here, this is the feminine energy. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, Two of Swords, Four of Wands. There is a sense of, in a, in a way, moving towards some sort of union, Four of Wands. Um, but there is a need to not harvest the same things again. Okay, there is a lesson that has been learned here, but it's kind of a double-edged sword, and that's where you come get the Two of Swords energy. There are, there are many lessons that have been learned here, and yet there's an indecisiveness because 
someone doesn't want to recreate the past. Someone doesn't want to live the past over again. It's almost as if someone would rather move forward completely and not risk doing the same things over again and work on reaching union with someone else than work with the masculine counterpart. That's what I just heard. And yet that's not even really what they want. Hence the indecisiveness. What I'm getting from this Seven of Pentacles is an energy of not wanting to recreate the same things over and over again. Not wanting to, to, to reap the same circumstances. Okay, well, let's get some clarity on that. Jeez Louise. <laughs> Justice. Wow. Look at this, you guys. And there's the Six of Swords again. Leaving the past behind you. The star. Oh, that's beautiful. Okay, let's look at this for a second, guys. You've got, yes, we are in fact talking the feminine here. You've got the Queen of Wands. Okay. Ooh, shit, y'all. Damn. Feminine. Yo, what the fuck? <laughs> Yo, check this shit out, y'all. Wait, wasn't the Ace of Swords in? Yep, there it is. Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands. Damn, you guys, give me a second, because this is, this is a lot right now. Six of Pentacles, Knight of Cups, Justice, the Star, the Emperor, the Chariot, the World, the Ten of Cups, the Queen of Wands. Okay, yo, Feminines, check it out. For whoever this is, you don't have to worry about recreating the past. The past is over. I mean... Shit, y'all, the past is over. I mean, you have the, the world here. My God, I'm kind of like floored just because of how good these cards are. Like there's literally nothing here that would say that there's any sort of energy that could creep up from the past and recreate the sort of circumstances you were dealing with before. I just don't see it, it's not here. You have, look at all this major arcana here. You have justice, the star, the emperor, the king. I'm sorry, I was going to say the king of wands, but it's not the king of wands. It's the chariot. And it's funny because after, I, I was going to say the king of wands right after I said the emperor. And if we are, in fact, talking twin flames, okay, you've got the Divine Masculine in the Emperor. And then you also have the Divine Masculine in the King of Wands, which would be the counterpart to the Queen of Wands. And if you remember, the Queen of Wands came out in the pre-shuffle. That's kind of what started this whole trajectory of this message today. But here, what I'm, say what I'm seeing is justice has been served. Scales are being balanced or have been balanced. Healing is brought into the situation. There is wish fulfillment. Someone has grown into their big boy pants <laughs> with the emperor or the divine masculine energy. It's not, and it's funny, it showed up as the emperor and not the king of wands because this is the energy that this individual is coming into, okay? And thus the chariot, we have the balancing of the emotions, integration of the light and dark, uh, yes, the dark and the light, and moving forward passionately, strongly, exuberantly. Hello, Knight of Cups. Open heart, moving towards destiny here. Oh, shit, and then you've got the Ten of Cups. You don't have to worry, feminines. You don't have to worry. Uh, Ace of Swords, Ace of Cups, Ace of Wands, Six of Pentacles. I mean, this shit is, this shit is going to be balanced. It is going to be balanced. Whoa. But Feminines, you have to leave the past behind you. Six of Swords, you have to leave the past behind you. Let bygones be bygones, all right? You've learned the lessons. That part of the lesson is over. Seven of Pentacles in reverse, that part of the lesson is over. 
Ooh. Divine union is coming into play here. That's what I just heard, you guys. Wow. Okay. Whew. Let's close out the reading with some oracle guidance. Let's go with the crystal mandala. Boy, oh boy. All right, guys, let's see. Let's just, let's see what we get. Let's see what we get. Closing message, please, Spirit, for our weekend edition here. One last shuffle. Okay, here we go. Closing message, please, Spirit. Oracle guidance in terms of this reading here. Here we have it. Ah, yes. Card number 30, Ascended Master White Matthew and Danborite, Original Self. Beautiful. We bring you the blessing of original self. As you progress through your life, learning and growing, you gain wisdom and strength. You, you grow more radiant and authentic, true to who you are, and as this happens, many of the layers of identity begin to fall away. What you once believed yourself to be is shown to be not much more than clothing your soul wore for a time. You have outgrown it. It is no longer a good fit. It constrains too much, doesn't reflect your personality, vibrancy, uniqueness, and beauty, so you discard it. Perhaps you are able to be more spiritually naked. The sense of who you are becomes simpler. You are just you. Others may or may not get you, but nonetheless, you are still just you. You are freeing yourself from the projections of others, of the world, and simply living as your original, radiant, divine self. Wow. I do feel like that's a lot of what the masculine has gone through here, or at least is going through. But also the feminine. Both are going through this. The blessing of the original self empowers you to feel to, to excuse me, it empowers you to free yourself from the expectations, judgments, control, and manipulations of others. It helps you reclaim any power you have ever given to another to determine how you should feel about yourself and who you are supposed to be. You have tried to fit into roles and identities in the past based on how you thought you should behave rather than how you authentically felt. At times you have tried to blend and mold yourself to meet external expectations and this felt constraining to your soul. You might have done it for what you felt was were good reasons, but you have grown to a point where you understand where you now understand, excuse me, there is never a reason to take to that I'm oh, sorry, there is never a reason that makes distorting who you are worthwhile. Now you are ready to break free from constraints, expectations, and projections and dare to be yourself unapologetically, truthfully, lovingly, and proudly. As you take that step, you are honoring yourself and you are honoring the source, the great creative intelligence that designed you to be as you are in truth. Don't wait for permission to discover and be your real self. You are beautiful. Be you now. If you don't know who that is, take time to get to know yourself and find out. You are worth the time and effort, and the world needs you to be you, no matter if others think they know better than the divine about how you should have been created. Wow. I'm going to leave it there. There you have it, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you all have a fantastic weekend. I am going to be continuing with the Zodiac readings. I am hoping, I am hoping and praying that I can get them all out by Sunday. <laughs> I'm not making any guarantees because I had put this whole week aside for these readings and things just kept getting in the way. But they're happening. So all in divine timing. Yes. I love you guys so much. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. And I look forward to connecting with you again very, very soon. Yeah? Take care. 
Bye.